and, and be working in dirty laundry all day long, and I could uh, make people happy and uh, make a little kid smile. That's the greatest thing. I got on a bus with $100 uh, to come be in the movie soon after that. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, what, uh, did your family readily accept your decision to become an actor? Or? Uh, my family, uh, I'm one of eight kids. So my father, my father has to accept a lot of things, I guess. <laughs> I was going to be a lawyer. I was at the Naval Academy. I was going to fly jets. Really? Uh, huh. Yeah, and I, uh, I, uh, I got hurt playing football at the Naval Academy. Came home, ended up in his children's theater. Uh, he saw the first play I was in, Butterflies Are Free. He loved it, you know. And uh, and I went to him after the children's theater and told him I was going to change my major from pre-law, international studies, uh, to uh, to theater. And he goes, look, we like the show, but come on, man, come on, be serious. Uh, you know, but but that was a little bit reluctant. Uh, he's reluctant at whatever we do, you know, just to uh, make sure we want to do it. You know, I I came back from Cornell with a master's and. Uh, he said, uh, now we're, you're ready for some serious academic pursuits? And I said, and namely, law school, they wanted me to do that. I said, no, I'm not. He goes, what are you going to do? And I said, we had to be a bit serious at Cornell to find an institution, <laughs> Dad, you know? And uh, he says, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to Hollywood to uh, meet my destiny, Dad. He goes, didn't you learn anything in school? <laughs> yeah. So he really wasn't real happy about this. I uh, know he wasn't, but he... he wanted me to do what made me happy, made that's, happy that's yeah. what it was. Your master's degree was in theater? Yeah, theater arts, yeah. Huh. I, um, the last show we did, I guess, your thesis, so to speak, uh, I did a Midsummer Night's Dream, and I uh, played Proctor in Midsummer oh. Night's Dream. Oh, yeah. Usually Proctor's a little guy, you know, and Oberon, the king, is a big big guy with long hair, you know. I it's think I played, I played Perseus, I think, in that, or one of those characters. Oh, you did, the mechanical? Yeah, yeah. Mechanical. yeah. going looking through that chink in the wall or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Looking through that chink in that wall. Fisbee, yeah. I played for yeah, looking for Fisbee. Oh, right. moon, sweet moon. I oh, thank you for the oh, sunbeam. Right. That's what I was looking for back in uh, Triton College, uh, yeah, back there in Chicago. Ah, oh, that's yeah. great, yeah. yeah. So, that was, that, that's good. You had, you had a little reluctance, a little resistance. Uh, you had no reluctance. You had resistance from your family a little bit. Uh, what were some of the jobs you held uh, back in Alabama, where you came from, uh, born and raised? Uh, well, my father says after he hears the biography that NBC sends out now, he goes, it makes it sound like we were poor dirt farmers back here, you know, but he's a lawyer, you know, and I, I uh, was mostly a student, you know, until I decided to come out here. I worked as a waiter and right. uh, different things like that. I helped out with football teams or whatever. Right. But, uh, uh, when so I came out here to LA, yeah. I came out here to LA, and I was a, a waiter and assistant manager, uh, even a bus dog. I found out that was the best thing to be in a restaurant. A bus, uh, oh, a bus, bus dog, bus dog, yeah, <laughs> affectionately known as a bus dog. Not a bus know? dog. So you did that out here? Yeah. So, uh, so I mean, uh, I mean, n no one would have to talk to a bus dog. They talk to the waiter. Son, can I have some iced tea? Can right. you bring lemon? It's like, wait, I don't even want. You know, all the energy was draining at this restaurant, you know, and I, I wanted to participate, but, you know, just enough to pay the electricity. How long did you do that? Uh, for years and years. I guess I was a waiter on and off for 10 years. So out here? Mean, out here? Kind of no, out not, not here, but back Starting in Alabama. through school and, yeah. and uh, back out here, yeah. Through school, huh? That's interesting, I guess. <laughs> So you started out at the bottom, like everybody else. Yeah, I, I actually went from bus boy to a dishwasher because you could stand back there and, and uh, you know, not have to deal with anybody. Go in, punch the clock, punch out, and you're out of there. And uh, I found out, you know, there's a lot of actors out here that get so involved in, in uh, hotel management or, or uh, banquet managing or, or involved in the waitressing kind of aspect of their lives that it drains all their energy. So by the time they get a day off, they don't feel like going to knock on the door. Sure, of and, course. Uh, no, that's, that, that's hard work. It uh, takes a lot out of you in any of those jobs. Uh, uh, you mentioned to me in the past when you and I have spoken uh, throughout the last three years that uh, you, know, you had some pretty low ebbs and tides in your life, uh, specifically uh, living out of your car or van, I believe you said. It was your van for... Uh, no, it was a truck, actually. It was living out of your truck. Yeah, right? from Alabama. It has to be a pickup truck. Yeah. Uh, Can you elaborate on that? Can you uh, tell, tell us what... Yeah, well, it's like tan on uh, 19... Not the truck. Oh, right. <laughs> Uh, coming from being actually homeless, living out of the 
and uh, to having your own television series on NBC. I mean, how, how did you overcome this? I, mean, mm. uh, I think the, the biggest thing was the power of prayer. I really believe that. You know, I'm, I grew up a Presbyterian, and, uh, you know, whatever works for you, Christ says, I am the light. And uh, I think the one thing in common with all peoples is that they have a religion. So there is something there that every society has recognized. And I grew up believing uh, Presbyterian mama and daddy and uh i That's pray right. every day and uh, right. someone asked me what was the uh best advice you ever had and i uh i i went ahead and i said seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all else shall come unto you That's uh, great. and we can i do over the pta I know. I've, done, uh, I've, done, yeah, I've done no i've done some praying i've done some uh, praying too in my life um did you ever feel like giving up just giving up and or did you ever give up no i i didn't i decided to do this and i went to do it i i came out here for two and a half years and uh then decided to leave Al uh leave and go back to alabama and i told my agent at the time i was going to do some serious acting because in la i was working like down here on bundy at the odyssey 